Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is get horizontal dot product two. Let's fire up this example, and we're going to see it not work for what we want. Our dot product is covered in a different video, but basically to summarize it, it's going to give us the dot product value between one actor, which is our character here, and another actor, which is our box here. However, it does take into effect the literal vector values. So because our Z's are different, we're going to get back something that doesn't quite give us back what we want. We want to know if it's in front of us, and we really don't care about the Z. Well, that's what our get horizontal dot product two node is. Let's go ahead and hook up the horizontal one and run it. And we're going to see a different result. We're going to see one. And as we get closer, well, it's not going to change. It's still going to be one. And when we get past it, it's going to be negative one because it's behind us. And of course, if we were to turn around and face it, it would be one again. And it's going to work properly when we rotate as well. So keep that in mind. If you want something that to basically be regardless of the Z or the up and down, you use the get horizontal dot product in two. It's basically going to fire off straight forward from our Z value. So it's basically gonna take the X and the Y from our target, put in our Z value from our originator, and then use that as the vector calculation. So you notice no matter what, if the Z is above or below, it's still going to count whether or not it's a dot product result of in front of me at the Z value of the originator, the player. So it's useful if you need to um, just simply see if something is within a forward value rather than an up and down value. It's basically is something within my cone of sight is what you want to use it for. Something similar like that. And that's pretty much it. It's identical to the get dot product, except like I said, it ignores the Z. So it's only going to be the horizontal X or Y value. And it's going to return back the same dot product calculation. And that's it. That's going to wrap up the get horizontal dot product to node.